The most fortune ban I don't I don't agree with. I think that was just like a fear ban in lane. Um yeah. Mm. With the most fortune Leona down. I don't know, what do you pick here? You ban the vein. I feel like you want to pick up a Zaya. Yeah, something maybe a Twitch even, something something that can just kill a team. He must be he must be an Orm player. He is he is. But I feel like they're just devolving into target. I don't know. It's it's very interesting. Not banning the Shen because he performed in insane on Shen. Okay. Huh. I mean, it's a, it's a good ban. I'd like to see. Okay. okay. Was that the Thresh that was banned away last game? Oh my goodness. Uh, we're gonna see some crazy stuff here. Oh my goodness. There's a Shen again, yeah. Oh my Same comp. Yeah, definitely. I think if they can play maybe a Gragas or a Cho'Gath here, um, they can really... They're going to take the Ramus, though. All right. Oh, my God. Mmm. Are we gonna see a Zed pick, or is it the safe Zareth pick? Nope. There it is. Banned away from him last game. He gets to lock it in this game, and that's the first round of picks and bans through as we jump into the second. I see, foresee a lot of eighty carry bans. A lot of eighty carry bans. This is this is gonna be interesting, Ellie. Or dodge. Jarvin. Definitely an interesting band. But hey. Maybe. I think you just miss it in uh, customs. No, I haven't run into that scenario. Alistar. Okay. So they're not even targeting ADCs. Yeah. No problem. Okay, that's smart. Is that a sub? Is that a sub ADC? Is that the same ADC from last game? Okay. Oh, I don't look at names. Tristana coming through though. After that Twitch ban. Zaya for sure now. I'm thinking. I don't know. I, I like the uh, the comp. Seems very straightforward. Obviously, the Shen and the Sejuani being picked again. Very strong little duo in team fights. Um, you give that. Yeah, you give that Tristana the. Absolutely. Completely different. Uh, no, I the the team is is a lot of all over the place. Um. Oh my goodness. This is going to be interesting. Don't dodge, please. Thank you. Fold the again. I don't agree with that.
you see the you see the Maokai ban into the Shen because Maokai is very strong against Shen. I feel like you don't want to ban Orn and you'd like to pick Orn for your top laner. I feel like Volibear didn't really Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Volibear didn't really have that impact last game. I mean, we saw Shen was like 3-0-12 at like 25 minutes. The ridiculous score, obviously providing great utility, saving their carries on so many occasions that you really don't want to lock him into that uh, that easy matchup with the Volibear again. They have a Ramus. <laughs> Oh my goodness. With the lantern. Hey. Stranger things have happened. Mm. I was going to make a stranger things pun, but I don't know if you even watched that. That's unfortunate. But I like the Lulu. I Again, Lulu got through ban phase. I feel like Lulu is a, a pretty big priority. I don't think Alistar is as high as a priority as Lulu. I don't think, you know, letting... Almost the exact same comp through. Obviously, the ADCs are different, but Tristana has that hopping around kind of team fighty, very mobile ADC feel that Vayne has. Um, you have the AOE control mage. Zerath is a little bit different. He's more of a bully, um, yeah. in some aspects with that range early game. But it, it is kind of it is kind of very similar comp. Um, I almost wish he had gone Zed mid because that would have been fun to see rather than than another mage, but. It's going to be that Zerath. I like that uh, there's a barrier on the side of Igar. Uh, the heal. Heal on Zerath. Yeah. Heal on Zerath. I like I liked the defensive summoner, though. You just lost lane to the sky. You got to yeah. give him a little, little bit of respect. Cannot take that teleport again. Um, uh, no, he took barrier last game as well um, on the did. Orianna. Uh, it just it, it wasn't working out for him. There was so much damage coming out of the brand. that uh, It was the it interaction where... Yeah... Ignite lasts for a second longer, one tick longer than a barrier does. So even though you barrier, Ignite still hits you for that damage uh, after. So, yeah, a couple was... of kills and the brand passive on top of that. Yeah, the brand passive Definitely. along with another burn coming out of the Ignite is mm -hmm. just, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot yeah, to yeah. deal with. I think I think if you're um, a bubblegum, win or lose this next game. You have to take a more serious look at your ban phase because allowing Lulu, Sejuani, Shen on one team is not is is just incorrect. Yeah, that's never something you want to see on that's the other team. That's not good. Um, no. Just just Lulu and Sejuani alone, you don't want yeah. to see those on the other team. No. Add a Shen into it, and there's so much protection for that Tristana that there's yeah. There's really not much they're going to be able to do to get onto that Tristana. And Lucian is so short range; he's going to have to walk through aforementioned Shen, Sejuani, and Lulu to get to these carries. I, I this is going to be very interesting. Absolutely, that's like why. I, that's why I didn't like the the Lucian pick. Yeah. In the end, there. Uh, Maybe it's a comfort pick. He I don't hovered know. the Caitlyn. I would have rather to see that or the Zaya over the Lucian. Definitely the Zaya. Yeah. Caitlyn, Caitlyn's an anomaly. I Caitlyn is such a, Caitlyn is like Draven. Yeah, they're few and far between. Very hit and miss. Very, very hit and miss. Because if oh you're, my goodness. if you're able to kite as the Caitlyn, then yeah, that's that's good. Uh... Yeah, that that in her early game realists, but it's one of those, you know, kind of gimmicky kind of hit or miss champions right now as she's not particularly strong in this uh this last patch but i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes i like i like the ramus thresh i want to see this this uh ramus come in on a lantern full speed just just coming in and taunting somebody yeah that'd be uh That'd be a good combination they have to make it work in the bot lane this time they, they had the winning lane and Sejuani was able to make it down before Warwick was mm -hmm. and that was just that was just devastating for them uh the vein picked up a couple kills and then later on in team fights the vein was picking up kills all over the place mm. 
especially with that early game Lucian. I, yeah, I don't know. They they do have the Vigar late game, but it just feels like such a weird pick into that comp. Like, Volley Bear is fine early game. Rams is fine early game. Lucian Thresh fine early game. But then you pick up Vigar, and there's there's a even Oriana was open. Like, I don't know. Maybe didn't want to play. He probably didn't want to play Oriana two games in a row after that uh, disheartening uh, loss. But very interesting. We're gonna see how it happens. Maybe there's a a saving grace in that giant cage of Vigars with all the. Uh, the taunts and the flips and the hooks. But we'll see. Hopefully Bubblegum's able to pull this one out and mm. send us to three games. Um, and f I guess we'll see how everything turns out, uh, whether Bubblegum is able to push us to three or if mm. TVD is going to close out the series. Definitely. So we're going to get into game here. Looking at the items. Doesn't look like anything too crazy. Yeah, so Doran Shield top lane. <laughs> Yeah, door and shield top lane. We have those. Um, uh, what are those things called? The mana? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I know there's either. Hunter's Machete, but the Hunter's Talisman maybe is called. Yeah, I think it's Hunter's Talisman. Stopwatch coming through from Vigar. He has points. Inspiration tree. It's so weird learning all the new names of all the new masteries. Yeah. They're, uh, Strange. They're throwing I've called it Thunderlords like every single game. It is Thunderlords. It is. that. Well, it's, it's harder than Thunderlords, but. Ares, Deathfire Touch. Uh, well, Deathfire Touch with a shield thing. I don't know. I like the old Deathfire Touch better, but that's okay. Well, nothing too... Comets, though, mid lane. Ooh. Nothing really going on here. Just setting up their ward lines. Same keeping, thing. Like, Five keeping is last everything game. safe. Five yeah. yeah. And it's going to be a little bit more preemptive the ward side again. They got a ward in the river this time. Yeah, they, they did it. They put a ward down. Yeah. Level one put a ward down. Congratulations. Both, both teams. Both teams put a ward down. You st still m muted? No, I fixed it. Okay. Awesome. I had so the like, audio muted for the intermission. I got like three DMs. Yeah, so did I. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. So same starts. Uh, for Sijawani starting the box side. Nice that stronger leash. As Ramus is actually going to start the uh, the chickens, raptors, wraiths, whatever season you started playing in, and yeah. uh, going to go right over to that red. Pretty standard. Kills those very quickly because of his AOE uh, reflection. Yeah, very good start. Uh, Sejuani, buff to buff, um, buff to buff. Now we'll see. Where, no nonsense. Where Sedge wants to go with those double buffs. Mm. I think to the enemy blue buff. Uh, could. Could go to the enemy blue buff, uh, whether she decides to or not, is to be chickens. To be seen, it's gonna be the chickens. Chickens. I believe she might try and make something top. Uh, mm. Very good uh, CC combo to the Shen and oh the, yeah, and the Sejuani. Uh, maybe able to at least burn a flash, uh, but Shen is getting the worst of these trades. The thing is, I don't feel like she actually needs to do anything. Other than counter gank early on, as uh, they just outscale them, like, for the exception of Vigar. And even that, like, Vigar can actually carry fights in the same way. Um, yeah. Like an Oriana could. So, I. It's Vigar is more shot. delete one person. Yeah. Which, I mean. team does the rest. Yeah. They do have. Oh, well, I mean, it's only. It's a dual threat comp with the Tristana. Maybe being aggressive and jumping in, but that Xerath is definitely not going to be in Vigar range unless he, you know, simply misplays. Yeah, the uh, the miracle play here is Ramus Lantern. Get Ooh, out. nice hook, Good bot lane. Out of Thresh, and that's going to be that's going to force some exhaust. That's going to be the heal and the exhaust, and that's still going to be Woo! Lucian picking up the first blood. So this first early blood. pick. Coming nice play. Very good. Pulling well him played. out of that jump, yeah. Pulling him out of the jump. I Trisana did hold flash. Um, maybe not respecting the, the damage a little bit, but nice hook, nice flay. Taking advantage of that strong level uh level three bot lane as they gotta level up. And essentially when he's gonna pat down here, not much he can do though. They are yeah, pretty strong. Very so. well played out of the bottom lane yeah. on bubblegum. Uh very good job. Quick trades coming out in the mid lane. Uh, lots of damage throughout these small trades from Atesh onto Doom Rider, but 
Other than that, <laughs> not too much. That's Vigar, very low on mana now too. Hmm. Has to has to be a little bit of a call to back here. As Zerath even knows he's he's Oh just outside of range. Yeah, I mean you died at about this time last game. I feel like you do wanna you know call it a day as he lines himself up against the turret. He's getting that extra extra damage there. That's a very low Doom Rider. That may be... There you go. That's another easy kill picked up for Atesh. Now, that's questionable timing. Uh, I believe right there you want to get that back. You don't want to wait. Mm. And that's going to be Daddy going down in the jungle as well. And that may wow. be... That's a flash burned out of Thresh. And this is just... Staying yeah. too long. Out of Bubblegum. Definitely not having respect there. As even we see Lucian not... You know, he's backing in auto attack range, and he loses, what, he loses five or six seconds each time, and now they have to stay a turret, and Sijuani could actually pat down. Eh, she, she's too low. Um, but, actually, Zerath is six. That could work. <laughs> the cheeky little ward jump, or that hop to get the ward. Yeah, definitely I, questionable plays on the Viger. I mean, he, he has flash and barrier up, and he just kind of watched Zerath kill him. And this is Zerath getting... A lot yeah. of poke damage onto this Vigar again. He has a blue buff now. He needs to respect the mid laner from TVD. He mm. saw what happened to him last game, and he's not respecting that. Definitely an unfortunate. As Rambus is actually going to come in here. I mean, Zerath has everything up. I feel like he senses something. It's, yep, comes up the ward. He's going to slow stun. There's a lot of damage he's going down. Flash over it. And then he's just going to quickly yep. flash out of that. that a good that case trade, was... but... yeah. Cage was misplaced. They could have changed or layered that CC to keep him there. They probably killed him, but that's okay. We got flashed at least. And uh, Viger is actually six now, so there's actually a real threat. Yeah, Zerath probably a... wants to poke him once and then ult him here in a minute. There's potential for an actual kill here mm -hmm. from the Viger with his ultimate being up now. Um, and we'll see what he decides to do with it. Rambus has flash. He should probably loop around and come back in. There's no reason not to. Zerath has no sums. Oh, that hurts. This is where Zerath backs off and ults. Yep. No, Bear coming out as all three button. shots hit. Is Zerath is scripting. <laughs> He's scripting. <laughs> Reporting. <laughs> if you hit your um, uh, if you hit your ultimate, you're scripting. So this is just gonna Zerath. be a quick, yeah, mountain jury coming up for TVD with knowing that Doom Rider has to back. Uh, it's a very easy take. Uh, Ram is taking the scuttle on the top side, giving his top laner a bit more vision, a little bit more safety. Uh, mm. It's it's one of those things. I feel like the jungler, just like last game, needs to be like the Warwick. As they actually oh, reset and Lucian flashes block. over the pit! Oh my goodness! What did I just miss? The lantern to safety, but jeez! That's an aggressive play from Mountain Drake. And they didn't even secure it. No! <laughs> you don't, you oh don't my do goodness. that when there's a... Uh, when the jungler's there and your jungler's not, there's no point. He had stars in his eyes. He was... He, he was wanted seeing the sneaky the W. Most valuable ADC flashes in and steals dragon. GG. Should've just sneaky w Right? He might've actually gotten it. I think the jungler, yeah, the jungler had already smited. Huh, interesting. Well, that's a that's a long cooldown to, to you know, throw away like that. As yeah. a, they're going to head back, and they're actually going to maybe even take that turret by lane. Nah, they, they rotated it's going to be on. a lot of damage, but they're getting rotated. the Wrath coming bot as well. Volibler has uh, oh, teleport. Good nice hook out of, out of Thresh to sort of stop the engage, but it's still going to be a slow with a stun onto Lucian for the nice lantern, lantern to get him out, but it's not gonna it's not going to help. The flash exhaust, from air, exhaust, the exhaust, exhaust, the Shen ulti. Then teleport coming through. Nice dodge. And they're in a very bad place right now with the Vigar being there. That's Volibear teleporting in. He misses the flip, the hook into turret. That's going to be a very low Shen. That's going to be Volibear going passive. down to Era. And that's going to be Jibs and Bits going down. That's a double kill for Tristana. Hmm. Definitely some miscommunication there. A desynchronized teleport coming through. Is they're actually able to pick up, what is that, a two for, two for none? Yeah, two for zero. Uh, two under for the zero. turret and first turret goal. 
It's Ramus is kind of just off farming. I'm again. We go back to this Ramus. I there needs to be there needs to be some shot call here in comms to to make it a proactive play because you burn the the mid lane flash. You know that bot lane has no subs now in the ADC. Now's the time to make a play and, and swing back this game. Was it already 2.5k gold and uh, yeah, a couple need, turrets? He just needs to turret get down. to the bot side uh, mm. of this map and get his bot lane back to where they need to be. Mm, definitely, uh, which is ahead at this point, which is the kind of the what we were talking about before. They actually need to be ahead at this point to be even because of the scaling. Yeah, due to the scaling, uh, Tristana just scales so well into the late game, and this is TVD sending their bot lane top and the Shen to just deal with the bot side. That's a smart play. You know that they're short range. They can't siege as well against that Shen as uh, Tristana obviously sieges very well in the top side, gonna be able to probably take down that tower. She gets herself red buff with the Lulu. Double pink wards can never uh, be too safe. Double they the might vision. have hit another ward there. Double the vision, double the, I don't know. I can't think <laughs> But anyways, they're gonna push in that tower as a, a little, little, little bit a of a- big wave too. Convergence on mid lane here is a, the four people mid as Ramus kind of peels off, but I, I feel like they have to match this push top. They have to send either somebody top, which I don't think is the right caller, or shove down this mid lane as they already have three people there. Yeah, they need to they need to take a turret in return if they're quickly. Gonna lose this so. turret. And this is this is Ramus coming towards the top side. Lulu getting taunted and flipped, getting but the chunked. ultimate keeping her alive. And that's going to be nice. Tristana ulting the the Ramus away and Sejuani coming in to keep her alive. The stun onto the Volley Bear. That's going to be Tristana. Oh, he's healing. He's healing. The Vigar is up top, though. This is not good. She's still going to get die to that the kill. Tower. And Spazzy Banana going to take the double. Oh, my goodness. What a fiesta. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, Shen is pushing, uh, getting damage onto that tower. It's about to pop his... Uh... Seizure, whatever, whatever that mastery is. I don't even that know. That rune thing. Yeah, that rune thing. Mastery runes. That was last season. Zerath, though, I'm surprised he didn't roam uh, during that. Because he definitely yeah. had an opportunity with ult up. Maybe a misplay. As Lucian's going to kill all that wave bot lane. And uh, Shen, I think Shen's going to be fine. He just kind of walks away. He has taken quite a bit of damage from that press the attack, though. But he's just going to steal the health back. Say I think thank Ramis. you and... Ramus, Ramus, he has to get around the creeps before he can start this. They have a Thresh is there. Thresh is there. Mid tower is going to go down in the meantime after, uh, as a result of the chase, but Shen has a flash and a taunt up now. So there's the flash, oh, yeah, he, he's and gonna he's going to taunt, and he's just going to get away. That's a lot invested into the bot lane. They lost mm. mid turret, and, and now they're going like to lose Harold. Harold's going to go down yeah. as well. So maybe some. I, once again, it's 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 the balance between proactive shot calling and, uh, you know reasonable shot calling I, I like the play to go say hey we're gonna go do this but you have to kind of weigh the uh weigh the outcome as well but that a lot of that comes with experience and right now if, i think if you're bubblegum you're you're mostly just looking to gain experience at this point that's 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 perfectly fine there has I, to be I a point where you call that off though Th there does um but i think you can take uh, you know take it with a grain of salt it's better to call it than to not call it at all yeah um I do like that. Here we go. The the rift is top is, is good. They're gonna probably get two towers yeah, here. Yeah, that's, that's the that's bot lane. Easy is. turret for sure. We'll see what Vigar has. Shen's to on some pollution in the, the bot lane though. That's an amazing trade out of Shen onto two of them. Wow. Tristana jumping in gets hit by the stun as well, and that's just gonna fizzle out into nothing. And that's maybe top tier too. Heal in the bot. Volley bear in the back. And it looks like they're just going to have to back off here. Uh, they don't have the health to fight this 3v3. Mm. Good good polymorph out of Lulu. And that's going to be Lulu getting very low. And Volibear's going to go over the wall with three with members baby. of TVD. And that's a very low Volibear. He's got his passive. And that's going to be Lulu going very low. That may be Lulu going down. The bite out of Volibear. And now Ramus rolling towards that Tristana. But nothing else is going to come of that. That's oh my goodness. That is one brave bear. That is a very brave bear. Jumping over the wall with three members oh of TVD goodness. and still picking up a one for zero. Well, Zerath is like, guys, we need to take this objective. And Daddy smiting the blue buff away from his mid laner. He's carrying. As the uh, mid lane and the top lane fight for CS up there. And that's another free dragon picked up on the side of TVD. Yeah. 
We can't hear the other caster. Am I still not being able to be heard? You should be able to. I got all my sound on. Do you mute me? No. On the stream? <laughs> no. Oh. Wait, oh. Is that, that's got to be an old message. Because they said it was good that after. Because I fixed it. And then they okay. said it was good. Because I was, I was the one they couldn't hear. Okay. Un it was like 40 lucky. years ago, hello? <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. The gold lead, for all that's been happening, the gold lead is actually only 2k apart. And most of that is on the uh, the mid laner, as he does have a, like a 1.5 lead right now. And it's obviously small leads uh, throughout the team for the turrets and the objectives. But most of that is just on the on the Zerath. Uh, having yeah, the, Zerath the, getting... The he did manage to get the last hit on first turret. So he uh, did get the majority of that gold. As well as getting the solo mid turret. And this is going to be Daddy going in. The hook on nice the hook. Tesh. This is going to be a Tesh going down. But this is Daddy getting very low. He's going to go down. Jibs and Bits flashing for the Tristana. But this is going to be him going down as well. And that's going to be Shen coming in. Daddy Tempo following down. Era getting very low. Still trying to fight this out. But he's going to go down to the oh Rider. Goodness. And this is going to be Doom Rider going down to the Shen. Maybe even Lucian. You got Volibear chasing <laughs> down Lulu. Lulu calling for some help. Shen on the way to help her out. And she said, Volibear. I've got a bear. <laughs> I've got a bear. Volibear now needs to run. Getting taunted up by the Shen. He's Polymorph, going back in. But he's got the passive. They're not going to be able to kill him. He's going back in. It's okay. Lucian coming back as well. That was that was all kinds of clown fiesta. That was all kinds of clown fiesta. That was bubblegum waiting until the turret had gone down to engage. I think maybe they were waiting for a member, but Shen did not have ult for that fight as he was uh, actually forced to teleport behind the uh, the team. Or maybe actually, I, I think what happened was he ulted to uh, Atesh, or and then uh, Atesh died, so and he didn't get in, so we had to actually teleport as well. So both of those cooldowns being down actually means uh, maybe bubblegum has a little window here with a. Uh, only about a 2.5 uh, K gold lead down to use that Volibear teleport and uh, get some leverage around the map. This can't be right. Vigar only has 101 stacks. Mm, he only has 90 CS. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. He's gotten 103 bonus. Rambus up top, though. Rambus just taking down a Tesh. Taking on him. Aftershock is so Styling strong. Styling on him. Styling on him. 03 and 5. Not the, the cleanest game, but he has a melee tank and they're down a little bit, so you gotta expect the deaths. Yeah, he's, really the he's doing his that. best to get onto yeah. Era, but Era's just got so much peel from his team and it's keeping him yeah. alive for so long that he's able able to burn burn daddy down. Look at that look at that uh that CS differential though. Wow, from the bottom that's, that's a 55 50 CS. CS. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I, I it really I think a lot of it comes back to that that vein ban. I the guy is almost a notorious vein player. I think you, you just do a little research at the beginning and take that away from him. It's, it seemed to be a huge comfort pick. We'll see how he does though on this uh, Tristan as the game progresses. Well, he is he is four game. three, so he has been mm. able to pick up kills for himself, and that's going to be nice Vigar old. getting caught out a very well chained CC. Vigar is going to go down. They chained that CC amazingly. That was a very very interesting position, uh, positioning, standing up very far. As he's actually going to pick up an abyssal mask on that Vigar. Uh, definitely trying to not die. As the, there is a bit of magic damage coming through. Obviously, the Sejuani, the Shen, and the uh, Zerath, most importantly, doing a bit of magic damage. Yeah, that damage. Zerath is, is really strong at this point, too. So that's going to be Daddy walking in, and that's going to be Daddy going okay. down. One by one. And now Spazzy Banana in. just, hey guys, what's up? Walking through the, the team of, of Virtual Death. Lulu says, I told you there was well. a bear. And that's going to be his passive popped again. Oh, that's going to be a nice stun onto Era. Have his beautiful heal burn. Lucian t doing as much as he can to try and keep his team in this one. But this is going to be mid and hip going down for sure. Mm, definitely. That's to take it fast, though. As, ooh, that hook almost connects. Shen does have TP, though. And the, they're going to get two towers or an inhibitor and a tower at the same time. Well, uh, Team Bubblegum preparing for a Baron fight here again. It seems like a repeat of last game. Shaky yes. early game, and then a lot of macro misplays. 
um, on the side of uh, Team Bubblegum. Not not really crazy big plays on the side of uh, TVD, but just misplays on the side of uh, Bubblegum. And, yeah, TVD, you know, TVD is capitalizing really on that. taking advantage of the misplays yeah. of Bubblegum. Uh, Ram is stepping up a little too close there. Uh, mm -hmm is taken down fairly quickly. He's not that tanky yet with only the Bramble Vest and Cinderhall completed. He needs health. He needs to finish his... I think he needs to finish his Thornmail. And then without that... lifesteal yeah. from Era, it's going to be tough for him to auto-attack that. that he's, dying to the, uh, he's dying to the AP combo, though. I feel like Adaptive Helm is very good here and rushing more armor while you will kill the Tristana. Oh, that hook goes wide. Is not the uh, is not the the best uh, thing at this point. But it's just Zerath poking at him. They're gonna take that scuttle. Nice crit from Tristana. She has rapid fire cannon as well. Quick Very strong in the siege. Damage coming out of Atesh oh. here. We're gonna see if we see Lucian flash over the wall again, trying to steal that dragon. Ram an Inferno to get in there. But that's gonna be easy. Oh to my goodness, away. that smite. God, Easily a 295 HP smite. Jesus. That's nerve wracking. And that's two like they're going over, yeah. over towards Baron. Oh, they can easily do Baron at this point. They're tanky enough. They have enough damage. They have the Shen TP. They have the Shen Ultimate, even. And they have three spotted in base. Yeah. So. With supers, I don't think they can contest this. This is this is pretty free. Baron at this point. for TBD. They're going to get taken kind of low, though. I think if there weren't supers in the base and maybe they had a little more heads up, they could have definitely contested this as uh, Sejuani is extremely low. This is going to be Tristana's Jitsen gonna getting though. caught out and she's just going to jump back out. That's going to be Daddy getting the ultimate onto Kev, but he's going very low. Spazzy Banana in the back line trying to take out that Tristana. Daddy's going to go down and that's going to be Spazzy Banana soon to follow. Lucian going down as well. And that just went from bad to worse. Definitely. Gun. TP coming in as well. Shen with the um, uh, barreled up minions. Got the super there in the middle. That tower is going to be going down very quickly with his uh, rune proc. And wow, it's a huge chunk. A lot of HP to empower that. This is Vygar just trying to do what he can. But yeah, Vygar with point, the Abyssal Mask. I don't mask. think he's able no. to do it. I think that's going to be game. Thresh is up. You got four seconds on Daddy. We'll see whether they can 10k gold out. lead. 22 minutes. And that's going to be yeah. game. Barrened up, minion's gonna fish off that game. Wow. That's a 2-0 for TVD. Definitely a, a replicate of the uh replicate of the first game, I would say. Yeah, very similar. Very similar to the first game. They drafted a different comp, it didn't work out for them. Um